In the link in the external data to join objects with AutoCAD Map 3D exercise, we have linked all the records in the Excel data range to drawing objects, that is to these red thick polylines that present buildings on our map. And now we'll create a new feature class with features derived from these objects and attribute data inherited from the link data. This is the table with the link data. If we select any of these objects, then in the properties window we'll see the data linked to this object. Let's suppose that we want to create a polyline feature class. For that we'll click the output tab on the ribbon. Remember that we are in the planning and analysis workspace. We'll click the SSD button. In the export location window we'll open a folder where we want to save our new feature class and we'll enter some name for this class, for instance building LAN and click OK. Then on the selection tab in the export window we'll click this button near the layers field. As all objects we want to convert to features allocated just on the building drawing layer. We'll select this layer in the select layers window and click the select button. We'll click the feature class tab and the select attributes button. In the select attributes window we'll open the link templates collection and here we see a sub collection with the name of the link template we've used for linking the data to the objects. We'll open this sub collection and see all field names from the table with the link data. To convert this data to attribute data we'll check this sub collection and click OK. We'll select line for the geometry and click OK in the export window. Thus we have created a new feature class. And now let's complicate our task and assume that we want to create a polygon feature class. For that we have to prepare our map a little bit. We'll click the create tab on the ribbon and click the create centroids button. In the create centroids window we'll choose the selected only option and click this button with the filter sign and click OK. Thus we have opened the quick select window where we'll click layer in the properties field and make sure that we have selected equals for the operator and building for the value and click OK. We'll select building in the create on layer drop down list and click OK in the create centroids window. Thus we have created a centroid to reach of these objects because they are closed polylines. We'll right click topologies in the task pane and click create. In the create topology window we'll select polygon for the topology type and click next. We'll click this button near the layers field and again we'll select building in the select layers window and click the select button and click finish. So our topology is ready. We'll go back to the output tab on the ribbon and click the SSDF button. Again in the export location window we'll open a folder where we want to save our new feature class and enter some name for this class, for instance building PG and click OK. On the selection tab in the export window we'll select a name of our topology we've just created in the name drop down list and click the feature class tab and the select attributes button and again in the select attributes window we'll open the link templates collection and click the building data sub collection and click OK. For the geometry we'll select polygon and click OK in the export window so we have created the second feature class and now we'll examine these two feature classes we just created. We'll click the display manager tab on the task pane and click the data button and the connect to data command. In the data connect window we'll select add SDF connection and click this button. We'll navigate to our new feature classes and select one of them and click open. 
then we will click the connect button and the add to map button in the same way we will connect the second PC class and add it to the map we'll close the data connect window and now we see that we have created a polygon feature class and these polygons are just bounded by the corresponding drawing objects so this is ok we'll select this feature class as a layer on the display manager tab in the task pane and click the table button and now we see attribute data for this feature class inherited from the link data so we have performed this task successfully and now we'll select the second new layer its source is the building LN polyline feature class and we'll click the table button and again we see that we have successfully converted all the drawing objects with the link data to polyline features with attribute data then keeping the shift key pressed we'll select all records in this table and now we see that these polyline features are located correctly each feature on the source drawing object so you see that this is not so difficult to convert between drawing objects with link data and feature classes thank you for your attention